So today I'm gonna to be breaking down my top five secrets on how I work with Blondie Lightener. And I promise by the end of the video, you're gonna understand the product better and be able to use it with more confidence. I'm Maureen Moody and I'm the Curious Stylist and I wanna build your confidence in your career through education and science. So if that sounds like fun, stick around. So about five years ago, I started working at my salon and they work primarily with Schwarzkopf products and I had never used them before. So 80% of the time I am using Vario Bond Super Plus and I love this lightener. I think it's great. About 20% of the time I am using the Blonde Me lightener and for a while there, that lightener really intimidated me. I wanted to work with it, but I found that sometimes when I was working with my foils, there would be slipping and some bleeding going on. And that really freaked me out. So a lot of times I stuck this lightener. I was on a forum in Facebook the other day and I noticed some stylists talking about Blonde Me and they were saying, well, did you use a, uh, a metal whisk and did you stand on your head when you mixed it? And did you make sure that the sun and the moon were in alignment and the stars were in the right place before you started using it? So it felt like, you know, you had to get it just right. And after working with the product for about five years, I now know certain tricks. And I'm gonna share my five top tricks that, so that you can have more success and feel a lot more confident when working with your blonde me. I am gonna be counting them down, so stick around to number two and number one because those are my two favorite. Secret number five, you don't have to use a high volume peroxide to get this product to work. It will do a lot of the action of the lifting, volume seven to volume 20, to get it to lift really nicely. Because this lightener is nine levels of lift, and it's been out for 10 years, which is really hard to believe. Kim Vo created this lightener. He is just amazing, and he came up with this product, and he did such an amazing job with it. I love it. My tip number five is you don't need a high volume peroxide to get this product to lift. You can do it with between seven and 20. You can use it because this product gives you nine levels of lift and is a very powerful lightener, but it also has a lot of conditioning agents and buffers in it. So it will lift gently, but it is also a strong lightener. For that reason alone, that's my tip number five. Tip number four, when you are using a higher volume peroxide, like 20, and I very rarely use 30, but if you are going to use 30, the product is going to swell. So if you're going to use higher volume peroxide with this particular product, you wanna make sure that you do not take that product all the way up to the scalp. You wanna stop a couple millimeters before the top because that product is going to swell in the foil and it might bleed out. So with number four, you need to really be careful with what you're doing. It is such a strong product. It is such a fantastic product, but you've got to know what you're dealing with. So that's my tip number four. Tip number three is that you don't want to oversaturate the product at the regrowth or your roots. You wanna really make sure to take the time to blend that out and make it soft and not oversaturate the product. When you oversaturate the product, especially with expand out of the foil and cause bleeding, this tip is really important. Uh, a little of this product goes a long way. You don't really have to put a ton of it, especially at the regrowth where the hair isn't fully keratinized. It's What I mean by fully keratinized, the first inch and a half to two inches of your hair is the cuticle is not fully laid down and it's brand new hair. So it will lift really nicely. So you don't have to oversaturate at the top of the, the regrowth. So that's tip number three. Can you do me a favor? If you are finding value in this content, please smash the like button and subscribe. I make weekly videos. Secret number two. When I am working with somebody that is a level six and higher 
I use seven volume peroxide when I am applying at the root. So like I said earlier, you don't really need a high volume peroxide to get this product to work. It really is true. So if you are working uh, on foils, and especially when you're starting in the front, you can use seven volume and it will lift really nicely when you're retouching. So that is secret number two. Secret number one, and this is the one I found out and I've tested this several times and it is, it has given me the best success by far. And I've been able to get people that are my color to platinum blonde and this is the secret. You can use seven volume, but the finer the section and the more evenly you distribute that product, the better the lift. So what I'm saying is you don't want to oversaturate, but you can't undersaturate. So you got to find that nice sweet spot. But if you apply that product, very thin sections on the top of their head, you can lift that person without causing a lot of damage. So let me get let you in on that secret. Whenever I'm doing um, baby lights on somebody that is naturally my hair color, I will start in the front of the hair and I will put seven volume in foils at the very top. As long as you give this product time, it will lift beautifully for you. So when I'm working with somebody that has my natural hair color and wants to be a platinum blonde, I will start in the front using seven volume peroxide and take super baby fine sections on the top. And I also use my foil board when I'm doing this so that I don't overlap on the, uh, on the blonde. So that really helps to control me not overlapping on the blonde, that foil board, but also I can apply the seven volume because it's so gentle and I can leave it on for you know an hour and a half to two hours so if I know a foil is going to take me an hour and a half to apply I'm going to use seven volume on them and what I love about that is when their hair is done it is beautiful it's lifted very lightly but I don't have to worry about um, burning the hair off or it breaking the hair off because seven volume is like it's like a whisper. Now, as I am progressing through the head, you're going to um, want to make sure that you start to bump up your peroxide. But again, you can take your time and make sure as you're working through and you're building up your volume that again, you don't oversaturate the roots. So those, that is how I was able to get success and work more frequently with blonde me and not feel intimidated or afraid to use it. My bonus is when I am working with blonde me because it has different mixing ratios, when I am doing a double process, I mix two to one. So I do one part lightener. So if I do 30 grams of lightener, I'm gonna do 60 grams of developer. A highlight, I do one to one and a half. So if I mix 30 grams, of lightener to 45 grams of developer. So those are my mixing ratios for highlights and for double process. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. I make weekly videos. Okay, I started using the Blonde Me Clay Lightener for doing my balayages. I absolutely love this product. And if you are interested, do a basic balayage. I'll link that up here and in this description box below. I really love this lightener. I can't. I think it, it lifts like none other, and I absolutely think this is a great product.